13.5 a given coin has a mass of 3 gram calculate the nuclear energy that would be required to separate all the neutrons and protons from each other for simplicity assume that the coin is entirely made of 29 cu 63 atomic mass that is 62.92960u now atomic mass of cu that is 62.92960 that is given to you now in copper number of protons that is 29 63 minus 29 that is 34 that is the number of neutrons mass of proton mass of neutron that is always given to you now here the coin that is with mass equal to 3 g so first of all we have to calculate the mass defect for one atom then we have to calculate the total number of atoms in 3 g and then after we have to calculate total mass defect so first of all mass defect per atom that is zmp plus nmn minus mcu substitute the values and calculate delta m this is the mass defect per atom now here atomic mass number that is 63 so if we take 63 g copper then that is one mole substance so in 63 g the number of atoms that will be equal to avogadro number that is 6.02 into 10 raised to 23 therefore in 3 g how many so total number of atoms in 3 g that is 3 into 6.02 into 10 raised to 13 upon 63 so you will get total number of atoms now per atom we have mass defect delta m therefore in this much number of atoms how much mass defect is there so mass defect of 3 g cu that is delta m into this total number of atoms then solve it you will get the total mass defect therefore now binding energy of 3 g cu that is this mass which is in terms of u so directly multiply it by 931.5 you will get binding energy in terms of mev so whatever is the binding energy of that particular substance that much energy we have to supply it to separate all the nucleons clear to all of you so energy required that is this equal to binding energy